Hello everyone, we got a relatively new Unreal Humble bundle. This one is called the Locked and Loaded Military Asset Bundle. It has 30 items in total and the minimum to get all of the items is 20 US dollars. Uh, it includes the military, airport, cyberpunk night, shrubland, mountain village, battlefield kit, battle royal iron pack and three different weapon packs, two of which have been in previous bundles. An abandoned office which also have been in previous models uh these new character uh, military characters are new uh these three tanks have been in previous bundles before however the two below are new and the rest are a mixed bag of recycled and new packs depends on if you have bought the previous ones before there are three different price points each given a number of assets out of the 30 starting with the minimum which is one usd uh, you get the tank, a mini pack, and a soldier. Actually, not bad for one USD. The second one doesn't make any sense. 19.26 USD. Um, you might as well just get the third. And don't forget, if you are going to buy it, adjust the donation. Click custom and specify the humble bundle as the minimum share. Or we can divide it however you like. This pack, the support active mines can read more about it i personally don't know what they do however what i know are the keys that you get from these are redeemed on the epic launcher and it goes into your library directly when you buy the bundle you get greeted with something like this you click on the reveal key on any of the assets and then redeem them on the epic launcher i did some tutorials as part of other humble bundle videos i'll link them in the description so you have to redeem 30 keys in total a bit hassle but it gives you the chance to share the extra keys for the assets that you already own. Starting with the customizable weapon pack, we got plenty of customizable, as the name implies, weapons, um, handguns, revolver type with a sight. Uh, of course, these sights are optional. These are the sights. It's worth noting that these are not parallax free, so they're not representative of real life situations. There are three knives also, however, they're kind of buried here, so you have to push them up a bit. It's a nice addition. Uh, this is a different gun here with different attachments as a showcase with different colors, and you can see the um, animated material. Also, the barrels are not rifled. I've noticed this. Otherwise, the details are actually good. And same rifle with different skin. I forgot to showcase the laser attachment. And some grenades, mines. Making this an overall decent pack, I would say. Most objects don't have collision for some reason. I think it's an oversight. As for the details of the weapons, it's a mixed bag of modeling and normal maps. And the wireframe mode to see the triangles. One thing to be aware of in this bag is the folder uh, that uh, these weapons are located in. It's called weapons. And that's a common name. It should have been like customizable weapons or something of that sort. However, uh, in my project, I already had a folder named weapons, so it was kind of tricky to find it. Uh, there's also this kind of level that uh, allows you to attach and preview some of the customization here. You can choose the grip, although it's very dark, so it may not be that much visible. You can also change the skin, change the text to texture, you can also change it to material. As for the meshes, it does include both static and skeletal meshes. And for each, I think there is two different orientations, the X and the Y axis ones. Uh, it may not be visible in this one, uh, but for the others, uh, there are sockets to attach each different attachments. And yeah, these are skeletal meshes and rigged for most of the parts, not all. There are different models without the magazine. So for something like VR, it could be used. 
and there are different textures provided to give customization and there are already blueprints provided with the customization exposed to the blueprint so we can change it directly like I'm doing change the attachments the color the different type of customizations on it you can also change the mode to a texture so you can put the texture of your choosing or different patterns uh, these are provided with this pack camos it's a nice addition another mode is to change to material so you can add animated stuff or effects to it you can change the scale although I'm not seeing much difference and for each weapon there are different materials I think each one have about two or three materials already made for them for example for this gun let's filter it by name okay um getting the name from the skeletal mesh and typing it uh, to filter it out you can you can see uh oh yeah never mind i have to make it the blueprint and not in the skeletal mesh itself and you can see it's a different material although these are not animated and that's uh, like a material parameter thing and of course materials give you much more customization option compared to texture looking at the uvs uh yeah, uh, this is multi-material. Let's look at one with just one material. Uh, we can see that the each side is different, and the UVs are not reused for the same uh, for the same symmetrical parts. But that can be okay, especially for weapons if you want to maximize the details of the weapon itself. But generally, the UVs are well packed. This is the advanced weapon pack. These are the different weapons for of this pack. The details are actually not bad, same as the previous one. The details are a mixed bag of the modeling of the uh, aesthetic mesh or skeletal mesh in this case and normal maps. Uh, this sniper rifle is actually part of the mini pack, so I'm not gonna review that mini pack, although that have like an extra handgun in it if I'm not mistaken you can see the VSS now if you look closely you might see the vertices of that arc this back same as the other ones are not high poly that only happens if you look very closely to the part of the guns that are curved or have an arc and these are the attachment scopes same with the previous one blueprint is uh, provided almost similar to the previous one you can choose or almost the same you can change the different attachments of these However, this one does seem to have a collision, and the collision is actually not bad. You can see it's made to kind of encompass the shape of the weapon, which is actually good. This is one of the snipers or the weapons from the mini sci-fi pack. And you can see the different sockets for the attachments. This one, um, unlike the previous one, have this kind of loadout and testing phase when you play the level. And you can pick up the attachments or the weapons that are laid out you can change them and you can change them live when you pick them up 
although it may not be that visible for this one a site might be better but you get the point next is the military airport this one is made by Freshcan and a very up close the details are not that much very high uh, but that's for the for the road the other ones are okay -ish. as you get close to them however I don't know why there are missing parts uh, this is not supposed to be an abandoned airport so I don't know why there are it had like that destroyed or abandoned vibe to it But you can give an occasion impression of that. I don't know what uh, tankers are doing in a military airport, although I haven't been to to want to actually know what it contains. So I can't actually comment on the authenticity of, of it compared to a real one. These are the different parts that make up the pack. And a helipad as well. I didn't see that in the main level. Moving on to the tanks, we got the SU-100, it's a play level, and the tank is kind of low poly, however the details are there, thanks to normal maps. This is a demo level, so we can actually play and look at the blueprint setup of this vehicle. The same goes for the other tanks, all of them kind of have the similar demo level to showcase. Can see it shooting. One of the most important parts is looking at the tracks. You can see it going like this. So it's actually somewhat functional or mainly functional. You can see the turrets. You can actually destroy it. So there is a destroyed version of the vehicle. And also there are two modes of track, one is geometrical, the other one is UV I believe, UV based. This is the UV based or that's how it's supposed to be. There are many different levels uh, for each of the tanks and beside this demo level there are prototypes uh, so you can actually test on ramps and actually shoot at the bullseye sign and then put it down kind of like not destructible but made of smaller cubes next is the showcase level for the su-152 looking at the details some of it are from normal maps however some are modeled like the grooves at the end of the barrel here. As for collision, it's not that good. Looking at the top hatch along with the machine gun here, although the barrel end is closed. Next is the 126. I'll be honest, it does look good even at close distance. Next is T55A. As I mentioned before, this has been on a previous bundle before. The quality does look good. And it's also worth mentioning that this is like a content you just add to your project, while the other tanks are separate projects. This one is the VK Leopard. I really like this one. As for the NPCs, we will start with the one that's called Armed Forces. The details are good, even up close. Something I did not like was the belt or the specifically the metallic parts on it is not metallic and the detailed texture on it is not that good. Also with the holster, I think there is too much detail 
for it that's supposed to be somewhat like a leather or something uh, there's also this part of skin coming out of the gloves i think it's kind of like a glitch because it's not there when you look at the mesh separately also worth noting is the shoelace being modeled which is nice instead of it just being a texture The glove is perfectly fine and it's not the skin does not protrude through it i don't know why it's here there like this in the level next is the commando i actually pre pretty much prefer that to just be one but uh, with modular parts would have been much better very similar to the other one this one is the sergeant does like a UN like flag on the hat. Uh, there's no like showcase or overview level for the spec ops. So we'll just look at the third person map for it. You can see it. Uh, you can see the animation here. I don't know what's wrong with that um, footprint there, like shadow. Doesn't look that good. But this is the spec ops. Because we'll look at the mesh itself. That's what it looks like. The beard, uh, there is a problem with the material for the beard. Uh, because it's not a side. I actually, however, went and found. Um, with the way that the folders are assigned, you can actually look at or search for beard for in the material section uh, or in the material part of the uh, folders. So there there are three different type of beards. To be honest, none of them look that good. That should be sufficient unless you get really close to it. This is the Cyberpunk Knights. Um, this is the overview level of it. These are the meshes that are included. Uh, it does say cyberpunk, but I don't know. These meshes do remind me of some of their um, Russian or abandoned building props. And the only cyberpunk thing you can find about it would be the LED signs. The glasses are broken in this geometrical aspect instead of uh, material control over it or opacity. The insides are there. You can see these are modular parts. And the nice thing about fresh cans, they usually give out different um, combinations of buildings with their modular packs. It's always nice to have like a prefab available. Looking at the showcase level, this is already prepared. And to be brutally honest, I do not see this as a cyberpunk pack. Uh, maybe an 80s cyberpunk thing, but uh, not a new aspect of cyberpunk, I would say. If they had showed me this level, I would have, I wouldn't have guessed that it is cyberpunkish. Maybe there are some aspects like the signs here, neon signs, or uh, maybe the traffic lights. But that should be about it. This should be a vending machine, yeah. This is the battlefield kit. These are not that modular. There some some of the different parts are there, but it's not um, super modular. Like the walls are not separated, and we will see that in the overview level. Now this one might be useful for a third person. 
but for first person uh i've seen better especially with these kind of building styles uh in games like insurgency sandstorm there have been better building types as for the battle royale map i just couldn't get it to work it was actually a separate project but i just added the contents to um to my project so some of the uh, world partition stuff may have been corrupted that may be the reason but this barnyard is also part of the of the battle um battle royale map there are also a couple of mini levels that are included like this one with the battle royale uh the barnyard that i showed and along with another one were also included in previous humble bundles I don't know how much of it was uh, like that. This one is the mountain environment or mountain houses, or village. It's okay. There is a problem with the landscape. I would say the materials haven't been correctly loaded. And to be honest, I didn't really want to dive in and fix it because that, that is not the main thing that I'm interested in it. More about the buildings themselves. And you can see the prefabs for the different buildings. Next one is the shrub environment. I'll just look at the overview pretty fast because I'm not that interested in it and it's kind of basic. And to be honest, vegetation does not interest me that much unless it's built special or there is something special about it. So that should be it. As for the other packs that I haven't shown, I most probably have already done a video on them on the previous bundles. So I'll just leave a link in the description about the previous bundle playlists. You can check those out. For $20, I think it's a good deal, especially if you haven't had the or I haven't bought the previous bundles. This would be worth it. Personally, I bought it for the two weapon packs plus the tanks and kind of a bit interested in the military characters, although I have better characters or at least visually one of the weapon packs that i showcased was already in a previous bundle but i didn't get that one because of the repeats and it's something that has started to annoy me for the past few bundles there are lots of repeats in them i kind of lose interest that's why i do not do much or a lot of videos about uh, the bundles because there are actually more bundles that i do a video on them I would pretty much appreciate if the contents were new and not repeated. However, I'm not the one to decide. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.